Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers. And today we are not going to be using a wind power. As you can see, I am in a map that has zero wind. We are going to be trying to use sail power, though, to go as fast as we possibly can. And I mean, the goal is to break the sound barrier. Whether or not that's going to happen, we will find out. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I've broken the sound barrier in all kinds of different ways using different propulsion methods in different environments and things like that. But one of the ways that I could not do it was using propellers. And now to use sails as propulsion is going to be a similar strategy, I think. So that gives me the feeling that this isn't going to be an easy task or it might not even be a possible task, but uh, sometimes trying is the fun part. So let's try and see what's going to happen with these sails as I try to create some type of mechanism to propel a craft through the air or maybe even across the ground might be good too. Okay, so here's the starting point that I'm working with. Um, this is gonna be really interesting to try to work out aerodynamically. I'm going to be using helicopter engines to hopefully rotate these sails at a very fast rate. But in order for them to catch the wind, the sails have to be angled. So I'm also going to attach a rotating servo. And this is gonna allow our sails to create that angle, which is then going to hopefully catch the wind and send us propelling through the air. Um, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> this is already off to a terrible start. Is it going to break the sound barrier? <laughs> Is it because you're double stacked with the things? Is it is it the double stacking? What if there's just one? Okay, that actually, that seems good. Okay, apparently having the sails right next to each other is not a good thing. All right, so I'm hoping you can see what the plan is here, right? And then if I press this, oh, they go in opposite directions. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, look at that design. I like that. That looks cool. All right, but I have to reverse all of these ones. There we go. So now they will all angle to catch the wind as I control it with these. All right, so let's see how this feels. Okay. Uh, we have liftoff. We don't have a lot of speed, though. But we do have liftoff. It does seem like helicopter functionality is possible here. All right, now out of curiosity, is this going to mess up if I end up doubling these up again? Or was that just, was that just a fluke? You ready for some chaos probably? Okay, yeah, it really doesn't like sails next to each other for some reason. <laughs> okay, so we have an issue where our seat is also kind of absorbing some of the uh, rotation, which is making it, it's gonna make it less powerful. So I'm gonna add some of these onto the seat and this will hopefully make it resist some rotation and keep it more level, which should hopefully transform more of that power into the sails themselves as it prevents me from rotating, I hope. Okay, so this is, um, it's a start, but this is not a promising start so far. I am not feeling that great about this right now. All right, so i just given this thing some aerodynamics to cover up these, um, rotating servos and stuff. So let's get a feel for what our max speed actually is right now. Well, now we're going sideways to the wind, so this is a little bit of a different reading. Hold on. Whoa, I just made a massive improvement with the same amount of sails. I have these set to go 45 degrees uh, maximum, and that does seem to be the best for speed. As soon as I start lifting it down, this is like 44 degrees right now, and it goes down like 10 kilometers an hour. So that's already a massive improvement, and I've learned a lot about how these are going to work. I have curiosity, if I enable these to go up to 50 degrees, do we go faster? Oh, it does go even faster. Okay, you know what? We need to get out of the air and onto the ground. I need to turn this into a ground vehicle because that is where I'm going to get a more objective measure of what's contributing to the speed differences because right now our angle in the air can change how fast we're going, not just the angle of the uh, the sails themselves, but on the ground, but on the ground, that's going to force us to stay in the same orientation and then we can really observe the differences. Okay, here it is. <laughs> I hope I built this big enough. All right, we're good. Ready? There we go. We're going to see what the fastest possible speed we can reach is. 
All right, wow, this is way worse on the ground than in the air. All right, 64. Oh, there we go. I'm increasing the angle. Now we're at 69. Nice. All right, 73. 74. Man, look at how much slower these are going, though. They just don't have a lot of power. Which is actually making me wonder if it might be more beneficial to use rotating servos because they might have more torque at this at this uh, sail angle. Okay, so 73 is our max speed right now. If I increase the angle, we're going down. So what angle am I at right now? Okay, I managed to get to 75 kilometers an hour at 55 degrees. So 55 degrees seems to be better than 45 degrees. And it also is better than 60 degrees. So I'm gonna stick with 55 degrees. So now I'm gonna save this as a uh, as one version of the prototype. And then I'm going to try a different source of rotation. Uh, apparently it doesn't like the changes I've made. Yeah, something about the rotating servos on top of rotating servos. It's not, it's not boating well for this. Yeah, it's not looking good here. I think I'm gonna have to stick to the helicopter servos. Okay, helicopter servos it is. Uh, we're not off to a great start though as far as speed goes. But let's try uh, increasing, this is a uh, what? Big modular triangle sail. Let's see how different sails impact the speed. Okay, so now here are big modular rectangle sails. Let's see if we can go faster than 76. Well, these kind of look cooler, don't they? Look at that. Look at that, look at that visual. That's such a cool visual. All right, these seem to be about the same. Uh, I might be going, oh, we're, we're reaching 75 again. But I might be going a little bit slower because I've actually had to add a little bit of height to accommodate these sails because um, these ones are a little bit longer. So now the question becomes, if I start doubling this up, how bad will the diminishing returns be on our speed? All right, here we go. So we're going from 76. Uh oh, I don't like that bouncing. And now we got four of these things. Why is it? Oh boy, the torque is ex... Why, why is there torque? They should all be canceling out. Are they? Yeah, that should all be canceling out. There's no reason why there should be a torque like this. I'm really confused here. Thumb's not right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. What if I get rid of these and just keep the first two sails that were fine before? What is going on? Why is this a problem now? I'm going up to 80 now and I'm bouncing all over the place and I've added a lot more weight. That's strange, isn't it? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put skis on this. Why don't I do skis? Skis have no friction. All right, how fast do I go with skis now? All right, so I'm even testing without angling the sails at all, so the sails aren't catching any wind. They're still creating some type of torque, and uh, this, this seems to be breaking physics for me because they are all equally powered, and they are all uh, being canceled out by the next one and it should be an even cancellation, which should mean zero overall torque. But as you can see, it's turning me very strongly to the left. Okay, what if I just, this, is, this wouldn't make any sense. This should actually make the torque uneven. Um, but let's just do three and see how that feels. Okay, this is very strange. This one, I'm going straight now. With three, I'm going straight, but with four, an even number, it spins me. Well, I'm getting up to 90 with this version. Okay, now let's save this real quick, because I have something else kind of cool I want to try. I want to try this tall triangular sail, but in this direction. But I think this would look pretty cool, so it's gonna do, it's gonna do that to catch the wind. Ready? Here we go. This, oh, oh, that looks cool. This is a really cool visual project. Okay, this is only four sails and we're going 61. Oh, that looks so cool. All right, even though I'm pretty sure we're not gonna break the sound barrier, this is worth it just for the visual effects that I'm seeing from this. It's so cool. 
All right, let's try it with two and see if this gives us better results than um, the other set of two, which was taking us up to 75. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is better. But it's still taking up as much room as four of them. Oh, interesting. So this one does better at a lower degree than a higher degree, unlike the other one. This is a really satisfying creation. Okay, let's expand this out and see if it's actually more stable. All right, so I should be able to copy and paste this just like that. And let's see how fast this gets us. Or let's see if this is even stable because sometimes doing that does things like, okay, what is going on? Yeah, see? See, they, these things are, these things are a little unpredictable. All right, are we good now? Oh, looks like we're stable now. Okay, here we go. Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Hold on, let's go in this direction. There we are. There we are. Such a cool craft. All right, I honestly, I don't even care about breaking the sound barrier at this stage. I'm just happy that I've, I've been able to witness this design. All right, so the diminishing returns seem to be pretty drastic with this. I've doubled the uh, sales and I've hardly gotten any extra speed out of it, but Let's go ahead and triple them and just see what happens with that. All right, so about 90 was the previous max. And now we're bouncing a little bit. Well, let's see. Oh no, we're getting the torque thing again. How strange. This is such a strange uh, result. Even though I'm giving a symmetrical increase, it's, uh, it's still giving us an asymmetrical output somehow. But the interesting thing is it only happened at six with this one instead of four with the other one. So let's revert back to the four. Yep, see, this one seems to be perfectly stable. And let's convert this into an air-based one that lifts off into the air. All right, here we go. Place your bets. Is this gonna work at all? Oh, look at how straight we fly. This definitely is canceling out torque. I mean, there's a little bit of a rotation. And wow, this goes a lot fa I mean, a lot faster, like 20 kilometers faster. Um, going straight up against gravity, I'm surprised at how much faster this is able to go. I'm lessening the angle gradually right now. 125, whoa, 130, wow, huge difference. Oh, uh, now we're starting to go back down as I lessen the angle. So it looks like whatever this angle is right here is the optimal angle. I have no idea what that angle is. It's less, it looks like it's less than 45 degrees. All right, I'm gonna give this thing some actual tail controls so I can hopefully adjust its um, trajectory in the air. I have discovered that uh, 23 degrees of angle for this type of sail in this type of orientation is the maximum uh, propulsion I can get out of this. And I've also added, as you can see, I've added some uh, tail fins so now I can actually control myself. I can go sideways, picking up a lot more speed. We're definitely not, and see, there's something weird happening here. There's something weird happening with these rotating servos for sure. Like, look at that thing. It did. All right, but the, I'm curious about, there's another way to attach these, uh, these sails. Cause right now they are spinning from their larger points and it is the smaller point that is actually rotating faster as it goes away, as it angles away from the center of rotation. But what if we do this the opposite way? So the larger part of it is actually the part that is um, angling away from the center of rotation. So then we do it just like that. So I'm really curious what difference this is gonna make. Okay, so like 130, around 127, 130 was the maximum before. And it appears that it is pretty much identical. How does the, it looks, it still looks pretty cool though. Actually, I don't think it looks as cool. I think it looks a lot weirder, but oh boy. See, what is going on with that bottom servo? That bottom servo doesn't look healthy. That looks like somebody forgot to do the pre-flight checks and uh, there's a couple screws loose. Whoa, oh, that is so cool. Switching directions in air looks really interesting. Okay, so by far, I think this is the best one that I've created and also the coolest one that I've created. This is my favorite. And in my experience with the sails right now, I don't feel like there's any way to come even close to breaking the sound barrier with pure sail power and no glitches. Like I know that there is the zero drag glitch that people like to use, but I feel like the zero drag glitch is kind of cheating the whole point of the challenge. And I feel like with uh, with sails, like you're, I, if there's a way to use sails that can get more power than this, I'd love to see it. But uh, right now, 
This is not doing it. The more sales I add, the more unstable it becomes and the more likely it is to just explode. I mean, even with what I have right now, I've got this weird uh, servo glitch going on where it's like kind of attached, kind of not attached, eventually falls off. But uh, the max speed, it looks like that I'm able to get at least uh, horizontally through the air looks to be about 170 180 so if you guys have any other ideas any other cool um experiments you'd like to see in the trail makers with sails in the high seas with waves stuff like that let me know down in the comments below i had a lot of fun with this one and i'm really happy with the design so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those future episodes and if you enjoyed this you'll probably enjoy some other stuff that you can find on the channel right here on the end screen hope this video has earned your subscription anyway this has been scrap man and i'll see you next time bye